building trust in ecosystems um, requires a lot of examples. Um, having a theoretical framework uh, or a concept that's written in a book is not going to get you the traction that you need. What you need is a, a product, a tool that you can actually put to this process. So the more examples you have of a successful ecosystem, the more the adoption will be, the more easier it will be for others to actually copy what you do and to be successful as well. Oh, absolutely, mine is a technology company as well. Um, and so you want to try to build something that is repeatable. And when you start talking about platforms, companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, they've been able to build these platforms that can scale, that can grow independently of customer demand. And uh, when you have that, you have a repeatable model. And that's something that we're hoping to adopt as well within our company so that we're able to build technologies that are not just going to help dairy farmers, but we can extend it to work for uh, arable farming or some other base, uh, areas of uh, business and if, where you can bring efficiencies such as logistics, shipping, and so forth. Um, artificial intelligence is a core part of what we do. The key thing about that, that is uh, the learning part of uh, the, uh, the machines. You're able to teach them with examples, but they have to keep con continuously get better over time. So when you're correct with a classification that you do, so if you're able to detect a problem and when you're correct, that's great. But there are a lot of times when you're wrong. And that's where AI is really, really powerful because you can actually train it to learn from its mistakes which is not in, in a traditional environment, in a traditional technology business, you are bound to sort of a deterministic path to repeat the same mistakes that you make. But in AI and machine learning, you're actually able to get past that barrier. As I mentioned, uh, the core part of what we do is AI. Um, so uh, the, the learning behavior is one, but it's important for the algorithm and the technology to learn and improve that you're able to give it feedback. So building up these systems that are you're able to provide feedback directly from the customers, which influence your algorithms, builds a closed system, which helps the algorithms improve on their own over time. I think um, there's some technical capabilities. Obviously, um, it is still um, not that easy to use the technologies, tools, and techniques that are out there. So there's... Um, uh, a, a big push globally to educate uh, people coming out of colleges and universities to gather those skills. The second part of it is around um, using the technology for good and being able to recognize these scenarios, these use cases where we can actually benefit from artificial intelligence and not use uh, fear to drive us away from them.